Ooh, Battlefield Doctor. Hello, my friends. It's me again, the Battlefield Doctor. And well, today I am in Neuenburg at another classic car meeting. Uh, well, currently there are not this many cars here at this time, but there will be later coming more because there are some people who are driving around with an entire tour with some ex uh, not exercises, with some yeah, some stuff you have to do and so on. And then they will tell me who is the winner and so on. Um, yeah, but I'm here just. Uh, one of the early birds uh, who is coming here to this meeting and I will I also want to show you the stuff so here for example you can see this is an old Toyota Carina and there is the stroke 8 of Akko I've met him already uh, in Wildberg and also in uh, where has it been just the day after in Bad Liebenthal, yes, of course. So guys, uh, well, I will show you also some more of that. So stay tuned and don't switch off now. So guys, and here is a wonderful glass 1300 GT. This car was actually also built by BMW because, well, BMW was uh, acquiring the glass company and well, the, the BMW version had a different had different tail lights than this one. But anyway, guys, uh, take a look over here to the. Oh, that's a nice sound of a Porsche 944, guys. Uh, but take a look here. So here you can even uh, take some oil with you. <laughs> Very interesting, guys. Anyway, let's uh, go on and take a look at this wonderful car. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Glass. Ah, beautiful guys, beautiful. Loving this red interior. And so, well, let's try to get it here. Oh, there's a nice Bedford coming. And a Bedford Blitz, Opel Blitz. But well guys, here we are at the 1300 GT. So the BMW, like I told you, had different um, taillights. It had taillights like the O2 series. But this here is still the glass. So guys, here it is. This is the small one, the Porsche Diesel Junior. There have been uh, more sizes, the Master Standard, and there was one more. But I cannot remember that one now. Uh, it was built on the platform from uh, Algaier, the AP. So the hood is exactly the same as for the Algaiers. But back then they had um, green, green ones, green hoods. So the red ones were when they were made by by uh, Porsche, and Porsche acquired this company. It's also interesting here, you can also see some information, but yeah. So, take a look here. so guys, this is the Volkswagen Jetta Mark II from Tobi. I'm knowing the guy who is owning this. So this is one of the rare two-door versions of it and he was just coming here by surprise because he was actually somewhere else but uh, there were too many tuned modern cars and then he was noticing that here are some classy cars around and he was asking someone and yeah here's a meeting <laughs> and this guy here is a Ford Capri 2.8 injection. Also very cool with the two exhaust pipes. I'm always seeing that someone here has called his dog Sven. And I'm always thinking he's calling me. <laughs> but I don't even know this guy. Anyway guys, here it's the street machine as it stands there on the grill. Ford Capri Mark uh, 3. And so now going here. So didn't Toby tell me this is an 86? Well, there stands 88. The original. 
So Volkswagen Jetta GL, no it's a CL. Beautiful guys. And here guys, this is a Mercedes Benz. So it's becoming a little bit tricky to film here now because of the, well, the thingy there. It's thingy because I don't know what it is. So it must be a and Mercedes Benz from 1960, I guess, or maybe the owner is from 1960. Or maybe perhaps both. Oh, it's also this one is also having the uh, Maxxis MA1 tires that I also have, but yeah, mine are already six years old. So I'm thinking next uh, year or or the one maybe one more year, and then I thought to replace it. But I'm going for the normal tires in future because they are really hard to to clean so beautiful car this is a 220 SE guys so guys here is a wonderful Volkswagen uh, T2A and here this year is uh, the thing is the model uh, 181 and here guys they are so rare nowadays it's a Toyota Starlet haven't seen one for quite a long time and here's a Ford Escort in a nice Kestrel livery I'm thinking this is an RS 2000 maybe definitely amazing here is an R107 oh and here a big fat greeting, a greeting to Fekwick because I'm knowing you're loving these Porsche 928 this is one of the early ones so the pre-facelift so they have uh, V8 engines in the front Let's take a look here car of the year 1978 absolutely beautiful just take a look at this wonderful but amazing guys amazing and now here's the R107 don't get fooled by the license plate so this one is not made in 1965 here guys is a Volkswagen Golf coming a Mark 1 facelift so and here guys is the Ford Escort Mark 1 absolutely wonderful and here Toyota Starlet this is also one of my highlights also also it's a, a very ordinary car but when have you seen the last one of these and back in the old times I've seen plenty of them but nowadays so rare and here the thing and guys here is the VW T2A and here guys is the Volkswagen Karmann Gia so this was uh, one of the middle ones I would say so already a facelift but not the latest facelift because I can see here uh, it has the uh, smaller but more modern uh, tail lights I've seen also another one here with the uh, more modern ones with the bigger uh, tail lights. Oh, it's also really a beautiful car, guys. Also having this old audio, that's amazing. So sorry, guys, I didn't know what I can ask about the Beetle. So <laughs> this was kind of unexpected to me. Here, wonderful Volkswagen Kaman Gear. So guys, here's a 190 SL, here's the Kaman Gear. That's the one I told you about the latest facelift with the longer uh, tail light. So it's just going down until the bumper. And here's something cool, guys. This is the Cadillac Eldorado. Yoo-hoo! Eldorado. Very interesting. It's really a road yard.
so now they are telling who is who has won the uh, tour because they are doing some stops and there is some games and so on. Absolutely loving this horn here. <laughs> and here, guys, the uh, Kama and Gear, beautiful 190SL as well. And here, guys, a mini. Also interesting. This is. Uh, they are not just a normal convertible, it's also kind of like the Bauer Cabriolet, I would say. And what's this? Oh, it's a Mini Marcos. Amazing, guys. So here today we are seeing some Japanese, but also British cars. It's really interesting. So even I'm at so many uh, classic car meetings, but you can still see uh, that things are so different from meeting to meeting so just in a little bit different region and you are seeing different cars so and here guys the mini as you can see here very odd so it's a cabriolet so maybe it's uh, one uh, that's made aftermarket because you can also see this here oops someone was crashing his 420 SE Ouch, ouch. Ah. <laughs> no damage to see. We can be lucky. Oh, right there, here. So, this is a Marcus Mentula. Mentula, not Dracula, it's Mentula. Never seen this car before, guys. Absolutely amazing. Marcos Mentula. Right hand drive as well. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So, and you guys, Datsun 100A once again. Tiny, cute little Datsun. And here, this is the Renault 4 with the old grill. You also don't get to see them this often anymore. I mean, at least, especially these ones, but uh, also the other ones are also not this often to see. And here's the 2CV6 with the old standard uh, headlamps. And here, guys, this is the Alpina B12 5.7. Amazing. It's also having a V12 in it. I felt how how uh, well how silent the engine is running. Really amazing about these V12s. And here, guys, this the stands Corando. Don't know is this an AMC Jeep or is this something from uh, from Korea maybe? Yeah, from Korea, guys. <laughs> Take a look at this Sangyong. Because I was also remembering Corando, there was uh, a Jeep looking like a uh, modern Jeep uh, Sangyong Corando, and so this is one of the, the earlier ones then, because this one is exactly looking like an AMC, AMC Jeep. Very cool. So guys, and here, well in the background, there's a C, 2CV, a duck. It's leaving already, well, some cars are already leaving now. Uh, but anyway, here is something very interesting. So I don't know what it is. I'm only knowing it's a Honda. Oh, well, there's stand something at the reserve wheel, spare tire, spare tire. I'm also saying it reserve wheel because in German it's uh, Ersatzrad. Uh, Honda Sports 800. Very tiny coupe. Probably one of the so-called uh, K cars. Last time I've been here, I can remember that I've seen a, uh, well, what was it called, the, the other small Honda, but the normal, the, the, the small hatchback thingy, was probably, this is just uh, from the same owner, I'm guessing. So guys, the people are also already leaving here, so there are no more this many cars. And I'm also taking it for the day because it's really hot. 
and I'm also exhausted and everything and I need to eat something and I couldn't eat here because well the problem is uh, they wanted to sell uh, marks uh, for 10 euros and yeah, then I would have then I would need to eat so much and currently with my uh, with my IBS it's so difficult to eat some stuff so I'm very limited and also about drinking stuff so hmm. <laughs> so well I decided to stuck on my uh, to stay on my um, silent water anyway guys so that's it for today for this preview and uh, so if you like this preview is on well you know at my other channel BFD drives that's of course coming more and if my uh, voice is sounding uh, weird it's because I was talking so much <laughs> just with you guys here and framing everything and here in the uh, background by the way guys is a wonderful Wartburg 400 and uh, no, 311 beautiful car absolutely beautiful and here guys a wonderful f-series porsche 911 targa i'm also loving this series this one has lots of chrome beautiful targa LFT. this fuchs alloy wheels absolutely beautiful and now guys here something for the end this here is the beautiful 260 z also really such a beautiful car and now with a closed hood take a look at this this long hood absolutely amazing so it's also taking photos there and here take a look at this here that's soon 260 z 2.2 can also see this here Z so amazing guys such a beautiful car beautiful ah, so guys well now I'm sitting in my car and as you can see I'm sitting here at the co-passenger seat because now it's time to leave guys and well Siggy will drive today crossing fingers that it's that he can drive because well it's the first time I let him drive <laughs> guys this has been really an amazing day for me today I'm very exhausted due to the heat and everything and uh, yeah I was for sure doing more than 10,000 steps today because I was walking up and down, up and down and filming all the great cars. So guys, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye. Bye.